Hey guys, so I really wanted to do a video on books that I personally wish that more people knew about. And I'm doing this video basically because I really like finding out about new books that I didn't know about before. Even if they're not brand new, I still like knowing about them. So I thought I would share mine with you. The first book is by Albert Boris and it is called Crash Into Me. I read this book about, I want to say three years ago or two years ago, I can't really remember. But I do remember really, really enjoying it. It's about a group of kids who meet in a suicide chat room. And they plan on meeting up and going to destinations of celebrities that committed suicide. And then at the end of their trip, they plan on committing a group suicide. But kind of along the way, you realize why they are the way they are and you learn about their life stories and why they want to commit suicide but at the same time they're making this new incredible bond together and they're actually making friends that they've never had before and even finding love for the first time. Now both of these authors are pretty well known but I personally don't think this book is well known enough. It's The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. I really enjoyed this book. It takes place in the 90s, which is like my favorite decade. I was born in the 90s, so I am a child of the 90s. I just love everything, like throwback 90s, and it has so many references to it, which is just awesome. But it basically centers around this girl, and she receives a computer for her birthday, and when she sets up the computer, she discovers her future Facebook. So it's just really interesting to see the actions that she does in present time to try and change her future. This next book I have mentioned quite a few times and I read it over the summer and it just really has like left a mark on me. It's one of those books that I find myself coming back and thinking about constantly and like finding songs that make me think of it and it's just really strange but it's Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma and this book is was just so amazing. I honestly did not expect to like it as much as I did. It is basically about two teenagers who are raising their three younger siblings because they have an absent mother and an really absent father who isn't even in the picture at all. And over time the teenagers develop a romantic relationship for each other and I know it's crazy because they are siblings and you're like that's so taboo and it might freak some people out, but honestly, I was rooting for them the whole time. You feel so awful for them, and the ending is like the most heartbreaking thing ever, and it is just so beautifully written that you honestly feel like you're reading like song lyrics or a poem, and it's just so beautiful. I really want to read more books by her. I think she's an amazing author, and she's so good at like setting up scenery and character developing, and everything is just so perfect. I really recommend you to read this book. I think you should give it a shot even though you it isn't what you would automatically pick up or think of as a book that you would like but it is it's worth it. Now this is another author that is pretty well known but I feel like this specific book is very under the radar. It is Three Willows by Anne Brashers and she writes the Sister of the Charlie Pants series and this is kind of like it. It's about three girls that live in the area of where the Sister of the Charlie Pants takes place. So the thing I really enjoyed about this book is the girls are actually no longer friends. They're either in early high school or middle school. I can't quite remember because I read it about three years ago. But they are preteens and they are all changing and growing up and they just are realizing that they're going different directions in their lives and it's kind of interesting to see like how they actually come back and realize that they do need each other. I really do like Anne Brasher's writing style. Sister in the Child in Pants has been one of my favorite books for as long as I can remember and I just love that she kind of extended the sisterhood into a different series. I don't know if she or book. I don't know if she's going to make this a series. I assume not. But I really did enjoy this book and if you liked The Sister of the Child in Pants and you have not picked this up, I think you should. The Like Forbidden, this is another book I have mentioned quite a few times over the summer. It is Graffiti Moon by Kath Crowley and I have a book review on this but I will give a brief synopsis about it. It's basically about this girl who has this 
undying crush for this guy and he is the town graffiti artist but he has an alter ego so no one actually knows who the graffiti artist is. As a reader we find out right away that it is actually a guy that she cannot stand who is in her grade. They had an awful first date and it was kind of like a misunderstanding and she thinks he's just like this awful guy but he really is and he is super talented and super poetic. So he is just basically trying to find a way to express himself and at some point he goes on this like mini adventure with his two best guy friends and then same with her she goes on this little hunt for her, this boy with her two girlfriends and then their night kind of intermingles and it is just it's too good. It really is just too good. And then the last book that I would like to mention is The Murder of Vindy McKenzie and it's by Jacqueline Moriarty. For as long as I can remember this has been one of my favorite books. I read this about I want to say six years ago and I've reread it a few times and oh my gosh it's just like I don't know what it is about this book. I just love it and I fly through it. It is just so so good. It's basically about this girl and I think it takes place in like New Zealand or Australia and her name is Bindi McKenzie and she's basically like the goody two shoes of her school. She gets like perfect grades and she's always like the teacher's pet. She always sucks up but even like the teachers kind of get annoyed of her and everyone just kind of puts her down constantly and it's really neat because like the first page I guess it's like a class and you have to write your feelings about your how you feel about your classmates and it like says hers and it's just like I just feel so bad for her because like no one can even stand her. All of a sudden she gets really sick and you learn that she's actually being poisoned by someone and it's just like I don't even know. I don't know how to explain this book without like giving anything away but it's just so good and there's like an amazing love interest and I just wish more people knew about this book. I feel like it is so underrated because I never hear of anyone knowing of it. If you know of this book, you are awesome. But seriously, do yourself a favor and read this book. I would love you forever. Since I really want to share these books with you, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm giving away a copy of Graffiti Moon. I just really think you will enjoy this book and I want to share it with you. So the rules are, number one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. I'm sorry, I just want to keep this within subscribers. And number two is you have to leave a comment on this video telling me what your favorite not that well known of a book is. Anyone can enter this giveaway, just make sure you have your parents' permission, of course. I will be picking the winner on, how about January 21st, because that's my birthday. So we'll pick it that day. Enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one.